Hello, everyone. Um, so I'm CL from Taiwan, and uh, I had a really bad accident from paragliding, and that's why I started city hacking. <laughs> so um, the idea of Golf Zero Taiwan is that we you know the government website in Taiwan is called golf.tw. We're thinking about maybe we just change the letter <coughs> to zero, and now suddenly it becomes a better website, right? And also has a meaning for like this is done by the digital native, rethinking the government from zero. And we're kind of like a more like a community, not an organization. So just a lot of uh, city hackers work around, try to do uh, open government stuff, maybe with open data, maybe scrap data, and running everything as open source project. And uh, there are some fascinating stories about uh, the projects we've done, so you can read it on top zero uh, Asia slash TW. Anyway, today I'm talking about uh, gross hacking for civic hacking. Why am I speaking about this? Because within 18 months, we've got quite a lot of hackathons and lots of contributors. You can see that a thousand contributors, and uh, like 40 percent of them are uh, developers. And uh, we have constantly 22. Uh, I'll pause at this point. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, we have about 250 people constantly on IRC, and uh, like I said, good distribution of like, activists and developer designer and stuff. So the, um, we have other people in other countries saying, how do you get so many people to be participating in this? So the tip, first one, is being open source. But like growing your existing open source community also try to make the open source hackers very angry about current status. And because they are productive people, they can work together efficiently can produce something really quickly together. And they're, they're comfortable working together without like a central coordination. So uh, like within 18 months we have lots of weird projects going on, some of the components on the completely working website. Anyway, that's the first step. But Second step, still open source, but this time differently. Convince the other people, like the activists and the, um, the, the people, the, they're not developers. Tell them how the open source people work. Because they're not really comfortable with like release early, release often, sharing rough ideas around, and then, and then having people discuss and then improve ideas or not. Here's an example about like when people come up to us and say, "Why don't you do this and that?" We kind of encourage them to say, "Okay, stop talking, uh, write something down, or even better, draw something up." And then this we can have so-called eliminated dreaming. Like you dream about uh, a proper polygon website should look like that, and maybe days after. People will try to make it into like real HTML, and uh, and a bit later maybe into real website when we put the data in. Similarly, for our uh, logo um, evolution, you can see on the left hand side the, the first version really ugly, and uh, there was some really good designer come, come up to us. Oh, this is really ugly. I can't send anymore. So he kind of like designed a better version for time for us. So here's a tip for growing your community. Design a very bad logo. <laughs> well, this is true. People say that uh, you kind of like put typos in your document to attract people to contribute. Because once they contribute, they're part of your community. They want to see a success and then, and then everything better. Now, lastly, engage. Engage the people who are like, not in your uh, contributor circle and then decide how you want to communicate with them, how you want them to consume the information you produce. Such as, uh, here's the example for, we have a PM 2.5 air pollution map, we turn it into a really nice graph, and then that was actually being uh, quoted in weather report in mainstream media. And now they see us, oh, there's a Gov Zero logo there, and something like that. <laughs> and, but better yet, you make this uh, information consumer, the contributors. Like this is the political contribution report that is you have to go into a certain building, print it out, and then so we, we have lots of NGO people going there and then uh, scanning them, uploading them, and there are people who uh, try to use software to uh, see how these um, sales are being together and kind of turn it into a capture service for people to input and digitizing the political report details. Right? And it's really really popular. We have like three hundred thousand data entry created by 1,000 people within 24 hours. And then now you can like render in that, generate the charts, linking with the, the, um, the uh, company registration info, and then you can group them because you have company ownership stuff like that. And that was done by a lot of activists, about 10 different developers running five different projects. So this is like, there's no central coordination for this to happen. And just 
like everyone do some bits of that. And uh, so the most important point is that we you know have internet built today. It's like we have rough consensus. We want more open government uh, stuff like that, and we want we have a running code for people to improve and work out and collaborate together. Thank you very much. Thank you.